Here's everything you need to know about detecting, removing, and preventing spyware and malware on your iPhone. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss a single video. I've had many people ask me about spyware and malware on their iPhone. Is it something they need to worry about? How do they prevent it from happening? And do all of those apps on the App Store actually do what it seems like they're promising? That's what I'm gonna discuss in this video. If it helps at all, use the chapter markers down below to navigate to the section that makes the most sense for you. Let's go ahead and start off. Are you ready for some good news? It is highly unlikely that your iPhone has any spyware or malware installed. Apple simply does not allow the root permissions necessary for third-party applications to capture what it is that you're doing and to share that information, at least not with you explicitly granting access. The exception to this is that if your iPhone is jailbroken. If you've jailbroken your iPhone, there are ways for malware to be installed, and that can be running in the background undetected. If somebody had access to your iPhone and was able to jailbreak it themselves, you should also be able to tell if there's things like SPS settings or Cydia installed somewhere on your phone. As long as your iPhone is not jailbroken, chances are the only way your information is being shared is if an app is collecting it and sharing it. This could be because you've given it the proper security permissions needed for it to gather that information, or it's trying other ways to capture your data and send it off in the background. Those that are worried about spyware or malware installed on their phone often turn to the App Store and look to third-party applications to help block any spyware, malware, viruses that may be running on their iPhone. But the thing is, most of them don't do what you think that they do. If you look at the big names, I'm talking about McAfee, AVG, Norton, Avast, all of those out there, they're primarily just VPNs. Some offer additional features that help you encrypt and store photos, um, but really they're offering VPN services to block your web traffic. This can help make sure your information is not shared when on public networks, but there are many other VPN apps out there. A lot of people turn to McAfee, AVG, Norton because they believe that they're getting some virus protection on their phone. And that's simply not the case. And if you look at some of these third party ones that look even sketchier, their claims are even more dubious. Some of these just boost cleaner, full protection for iPhone. Most of these ones here, they are not doing what people think they are doing. These apps cannot scan your phone for viruses, malware, spyware, or any of those. If you are worried about spyware or malware on your device, do not turn to the App Store and expect a third-party application, free or paid, to be able to help you. They simply do not have the functionality here on iOS. So how do you detect if spyware or malware of some sort has been installed on your iPhone? Again, it is highly unlikely that this has happened to you, but here are some general signs to watch out for just to keep you on your toes. First is any apps that you didn't install. If you happen to see something like Cydia or SBS settings installed, those are signs of a jailbroken iPhone. And if you did not intend to do that, that would definitely be a cause for alarm. When someone jailbreaks an iPhone, it's able to gain root access and install things in the background, such as key loggers and other ways to steal your information that you really don't want going on. Other apps just could be shady ones from the App Store. So make sure all of your preferences are set correctly. Go into privacy settings and make sure you're looking at which apps have access to things like your location and don't give them out to apps that you don't trust or don't really need that location data. Finally, what to do if you do think that spyware, malware, stalkerware has been installed on your iPhone or iPad. There's generally a few things you can do and one, make sure you do not jailbreak your device. If you have jailbroken your device, remove the jailbreak, which can usually be done by resetting or restoring or updating your iPhone. You also do want to make sure your iPhone is up to date. Apple does release numerous security updates for iPhones, even the legacy ones, that block several security exploits. So always be sure you are up to date to prevent any chance of your phone being 
installed with spyware or malware. Beyond that, remove any apps that you think look suspicious or you don't use. If there are a bunch of free weather apps that you don't have to have, delete from them from your phone because they can easily be selling your data to third-party data brokers. So if there's apps that you don't need or that are maybe using information that you don't need them to, go ahead and get rid of them off of your device. As a last resort, you can always restore your iPhone. Restore it back to factory settings will wipe out everything and install a clean copy of iOS, setting you up right from the beginning where you can pull back your information, data, and re-download any apps that you had, but it would remove any malware or spyware that would have been installed on your iPhone. So that's all you need to know about spyware and malware on your iPhone or your iPad. It is highly, highly unlikely. It's pretty much never gonna happen to any of you out there, but there are people that are concerned. So those are some things to watch out for, some apps to avoid from the App Store, and what to do if you really think it is installed on your device. Let me know what you think down below in the comments or reach me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And stay tuned, I got a lot more videos coming your way.